Hey, what is going on everybody? Jason here. Hope you are all out there being safe, um, staying inside. Hopefully this virus will go away soon. Um, I know it kind of stinks. I haven't been sourcing in over a week. Um, basically, I'm just listing things. I didn't have a very big death pile. Um, that, that's the one time I wish that I really did, but I, don't, I didn't have one. I try to get my stuff listed and try to dis discipline myself where I don't go out and look for a whole lot more new stuff unless I've got you know, my death pile or money pile, whatever you want to call it, um, kind of brought down to just a few items uh, that I didn't really have one. So what I've been doing lately is going around the house, finding things that like I think like a lot of other people have been doing, finding stuff that I just don't use and enlisting that on eBay and, uh, you know, just finding little things here and there because if you stop let allowing, if you stop posting stuff on eBay, your sales are definitely going to tank. Now, I've read where a lot of online seller sales have done really well uh, during this time. I guess a lot of people are staying at home buying things. Mine's been hit or miss. I I've went two days without selling stuff, which is, I'd never do that. I always sell two to three things a day and then I'll have a day where I'll sell five or six. So I think in the end it's starting to balance itself out, but just like today, I haven't sold anything today yet. So it's really kind of odd. but. I wanted to bring you this video um, to kind of show you a return that I got. Um, normally with returns, I'll side with the buyer most of the time, and I'm very lenient on it. I think that's why I still have 100% feedback, because um, of course I do send things sometimes and the buyer gets it and they may not work. But this one kind of threw up some red flags and I want to share it with you and uh, maybe get y'all's thoughts below in the comments what you think. But I sold this Sirius Satellite uh, audio system. It's one of the Delphi's. Uh, basically, it's the speaker. If you've never seen these, it's the speaker here, and this pops out. This is the satellite radio that pops in, and basically, it's like a portable, um, you know, XM uh, Sirius radio. So, this is how they shipped it back to me. There's, there's no protection in here. I mean, this is just void fill, and it's not even good void fill. And as you can see on the way out back, it it broke the uh, the knob off of it. So when I got this back, I was very disappointed in the way that it was shipped back. Um, when I shipped it to the customer, I had all of this stuff wrapped up individually, uh, bubble wrapped the, the the player here, bubble wrapped the boombox part. I mean, I had it really, really nice wrapped, and they sent it back to me like this. Now, they did state that it didn't work, um, but I had a few flags throw up. Number one, I tested this before it went out, and it worked perfectly fine. Number two, they kept it for almost the full four weeks. They kept it for like three and a half weeks, and then um, sent it back. And also, I don't know if you can tell on the knobs there, but there's some grease down here. I don't ever sell anything that hadn't been cleaned before I ship it to a customer. So it's almost like they used it for a full for a few weeks and we're like, hey, I don't want this anymore. I'll send it back. So when I got this back and also it got tore right here, um, you know, which that's kind of minor, but I mean, this is not resellable. It, it's broken now. So I first contacted the buyer and the buyer goes, oh, it didn't work anyway. You need to give me my full refund back and you better do it now. And they started getting real demanding and telling me what to do. So what I normally do in this situation is I just refund the buyer. Um, a lot of times I don't even ask for them to send the item back, but since I knew this one worked, I asked them to send the item back so I could look at it because um, I thought maybe they just didn't know what they were doing. And uh, that's maybe that's why they couldn't figure out how to work it. Um, but if it was a smaller item, not that much, I would have fully refunded the customer and told them to keep the item. But in this case, I said, no, send it back. And I'm glad I did because as you can see, these people didn't take care of the item and this is not how you send it back. So I messaged her back and said, you know, the way you sent it back to me is not the right way. I said, I bubble wrapped this. I protected it when I sent it to you. And she said, I don't care. He or she, I don't know which one it was. It's like, I don't care. Give me my money back. I'm about to call eBay. So I went ahead and called eBay, told them what happened. And on the eBay app, when you get a return, you can credit back. The motion credit back is 50%. Um, and I thought about arguing this one with eBay and saying, hey, no, I should get 100% back on it because they broke it. But I said, you know what? I'll just do the 50% and move on. So I did the 50%, sent it back to them, told the customer, hey, I credited you 50% back. I sold this for $70, just so you know. And of course, this was not cheap to ship. Um, so there's a lot of money being lost here, but sold it for 70, told the customer that I would credit them back half, 
per the eBay return app. I, and it closed out the return when I did it. Well, as soon as I closed out the return, so message. Of course, they sent me one right back. Nope, that's unacceptable. You're gonna give me every, every penny back. You lied, blah, 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 blah. Um, so they opened a, um, what would you call it? They opened a case on me. Um, now, granted, during this time, I keep checking my feedback and they have not left any negative feedback. So I kept an eye on that. Um, but they opened a case and it was closed within like 10 minutes because I uploaded the pictures during in the return part where you're you're crediting them back up to 50 percent. You take pictures of what happened. Also, they did not return the remote that went with this. They kept the remote and lied about that and said, oh, you never sent the remote. I've looked everywhere. It, the remote's not here in my house, and I remember packing the remote uh, in here with the unit. So they forgot to return the remote, too. So several things they did wrong. Um, within a few minutes, eBay responded and sided with me uh, and said, nope, I was in the right. So believe it or not, this is one of those times that eBay actually, you know, sided uh, with me, the seller. But, you know, what do you do in a situation like this? You know, I've definitely lost money on this. Um, I think I paid $10 for the whole setup here, and then I lost shipping there. I think I lost the shipping back to me. Um, I didn't even ask eBay about that, and I probably should have. Uh, I got $35 back. So so what am I going to do? Well, one thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to resell this here. I'm just not going to take the chance. You know, this is broken. Uh, actually, I could probably sell this for parts only, the, the face here, because like I said, this does... Um, this does pop out. Let's see if it'll do it. Yeah, there you go. So maybe I can sell this uh, face only. Um, I think there's another. Yeah, here's the other part to it here. So maybe I can kind of put that back together the best I can. Sell that for parts only. Well, I can also sell the power cord. I haven't looked it up yet, but I'm sure the power cord alone could go for $10 or $15. And guess what? I'm looking for stuff to sell right now. Um, so I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make a little bit of money out of it. And then the antenna, I wish I could sell this antenna, but I might unscrew it and see if I can get to it. But I think this is more of an internal thing, so I may not may not mess with that. But y'all let me know below in the comments what you would have done. Would you have just done the 50% off? Um, or would you have fought a little more with eBay? Or, or what would you have done in a situation? Because this is absolutely unacceptable for somebody to throw... Basically, they threw a breakable item in a box and just shipped it back. Just you know it's just not it's not fair so let me know what y'all think in the comments below i hope you all enjoyed this video i'm going to try to get a sales update video coming soon i mean as you can imagine i'm not out there sourcing probably like the rest of you uh you know due to the virus uh you know i really do believe now that if we all don't do our part and try to stay at home the ones that can uh that are allowed to work from home then this virus is not going to go away anytime soon uh, luckily, with my main job, I am fortunate enough that they have been allowing me to work from home the past couple of weeks. So, And that's what I'm doing. I am staying at home. I'm only going to the grocery store when I need food, and that's it. So, I guess I could have filmed my face when I was saying that. But, oh, well, maybe some of y'all don't want to see my face. <laughs> anyway, uh, appreciate y'all watching this the video. Be sure to drop some comments below. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Good luck out there reselling.